Hey, it's Sean from Tested. I'm back with another laser cutting project that we're gonna do on our 60 watt universal laser system. Um, in my former life, I ran the NYU film and TV repair shop for many years. And one of the things that we did over and over again was make equipment cases. So I've stolen Joey's lens kit and we're gonna make it better. So this is a pretty standard Pelican case. They're waterproof, crush proof. They're pretty awesome. Lifetime warranty, great for students protects everything inside. They typically come with what we call pluck and peel foam. And it's pre-scored so you can just rip out whatever shapes you need to fit the equipment that you have, which is great for your home use or whatever. But this is what happens. Within a few weeks of using it, this dreaded peel starts to happen. And you can see it's already going on here in Joey's kit. And if you put it in student hands, it's like one week and it's done. So we were always cutting things by hand, and if I had a laser cutter at the time, I would have totally laser cut foam, which is one option. We're not gonna do that today. We're going to do a little bit different. We're going to salvage a pre-existing case that's already been cut. So to do that, we're gonna make a topper that we glue on top of this to hold everything in place. Now today we're gonna use acrylic. Um, typically I would like to use ABS because it's a little more durable. Uh, you could even use really thin high density foam um, and they make professional kits, cases like this all the time. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take everything out of here and we're going to take some measurements of the existing holes and we're gonna lay these out in Illustrator. So I'm just gonna go around and take measurements to where all the edges are top and bottom, and replicate it as vectors in Illustrator, send it to a laser cutter. So I only have one piece of acrylic that fits the size of the case that I have. I'm gonna be a little paranoid, and I'm going to test my template on a piece of cardboard first. So it's a cheap, easy, fast way to make sure that you've got everything right. All right, so it's good that we did a test fit because we are a little bit off. Measuring foam is a little bit fickle because it's bendy. So doing the cardboard test was a great idea. So I'm just gonna make note of here that it looks like I was like one row off on the pluck and peel here. And so we're just gonna go into Illustrator, shift everything over just a little bit and we should be good to go. All right, so it's great that laser cutting is so fast and easy because I'm bad at math. So this is my revision, which thankfully I did a test print on. I moved this the proper amount in the opposite direction. So now it's even more off. So back to the drawing board. This time's going to be the one, I just know it. Ta-da! All right, third time's a charm. So this is really close. You're never gonna get it 100% perfect because the foam has flex to it, but this is really, really close. Now we're gonna take our eighth inch orange acrylic and make our official topper that we're gonna glue into the case. Tested orange topper. All right, so what we're gonna do is I actually etched some text in here. I'm gonna clean this out with a little alcohol on a Q-tip and then we're gonna color it in before we actually peel the paper off so that the paper is acting, acting as a mask so we don't get paint everywhere. All right, you guys ready for this? Ah! Behold. So there you go, little custom case topper. Uh, what we did is, uh, in this case, we were using some Super 77 3M adhesive. Normally, uh, I would actually recommend Super 74, which is specifically formulated for foam. But we just glued uh, the back of this to the top of the foam, and this will hold all of the foam edges together and keep them from peeling. And then we have the, uh, the nice inset padding here for all the lenses. Uh, we've engraved our lens kit here, and we've even labeled it. Uh, now this we could have engraved, but I liked using the P-Touch because, you know, maybe our lens setup's gonna change down the road. We can peel these off and put them back on. So like I said, acrylic, ABS, or even a high density thin foam, make your own topper, put it on the pluck and peel, some Super 74, and good to go. Mm -hmm. 